Reese fans! Welcome back to the Forza 2020 Summer Fiesta! I'm Twilight Sparkle, the five-time Equestria Motorsports Champion. And today we're here in beautiful Tuscany, Italy for Race at Mujo. I'm here with Rise Kujikawa along in the commentary box. Let's talk about Rainbow Dash. She has started racing in the Formula One World Championship and she's been racking up those points lately. Well, there's no arguing that. Rainbow Dash is referred to as power in the Formula One series. She hopes to put on a show for the folks over here at Mugella. Mugella is a clockwise flowing racing course with 14 corners, eight to the right and six to the left. One passing zone on this track, that being the long straight at the start finish line. Drivers will enable their DRS to enable their cars to slip along with the aerodynamics. Think of it as aerodynamic nitrous. With lights up just minutes away, it's time to see our grid lineup. In first place, we got Daniel Ricardo, Aling Prost, Rainbow Power Dash, Connor Russ, and Lewis Hamilton. All right, race fans, time to head out to the track. Slap begins. We see these guys back at the grid. So we got Daniel Ricardo driving that Red Bull. Pauline Prost and Rainbow Dash in the Ferrari 641, also known as the F190. Connor Ross driving for the UK winnings. And Lewis Hamilton for Mercedes AMG. In the Forza scene, we haven't had a race over on this track since Forza Motorsport 4 back in 2011. We're really excited to see some racing action making a return here today in 2020. Who do you think is going to put out a quick show here tonight? My guess will have to be on Prost. He's the oldest Formula 1 driver on this race today. But he still has got that talent that he had back in the 90s. So, even with these modern Formula 1 cars that he and Rainbow Dash has to go against, I think he will put out a great show today. I definitely agree with you on that rise. But like any other great driver, there's another one currently on the run. Lewis Hamilton is a six-time Formula 1 champion. He will definitely keep this crowd roaring along with Rainbow Dash and Alan Prost. Folks who are watching this race at home, we want to remind you that the Forza 2021 preseason will begin later this month, and the official season will begin in mid-October. Once again, the 2021 preseason begins later this month, and the official season begins mid-October. Get your tickets in if you want to see the races in person. You don't want to miss any racing action. This is going to be a very exciting race today as the five approach the last few turns on the pace lap here at Mugello. This park here is my favorite turn on this track. We're gonna see some speed with these drivers during the race today, so be ready for that! The drivers are now returning to the grid. The pace lap is about to end. Alright race fans, it's show time. 5, 4, 3, 2, and here we go race fans. It's lights out, and away we go. What an outstanding start for the top 3 drivers. Rainbow Dash goes up to 2nd place as she now takes on down your Ricardo with Alan Cross down in 3rd place. I don't really see fast passes on turn 1, not some can you recommend stuff right there. Well, Kimi Raikkonen is a rally car driver, so you do have a point there, right? Speaking of Kimi Raikkonen, the folks over at Equestria got to see his WRC talents during the 2019 running of the leaves, picking up dirt in the Everfree Forest. Daniel Ricardo still trying to keep a gap from the five-time Equestria Motorsports champion Rainbow Dash. So Twilight, has anyone in Equestria Motorsports? Oh, oh the caution flag is out. Oh, caution flag is out. Danny Ricardo is off the track. That's gonna drop him down to last place. Anyways, so Twilight, when was the last driver of Equestria Motorsports that raced on this track? Starlight Glimmer last drove at Mugello back in the Forza 2019 season. She did pretty well driving her BMW 8 series around here. We hope to see Equestria Motorsports make her turn here on this track in this coming season as the drivers now approach their second lap.
are the drivers currently on this lap. Rainbow Dash takes the lead, Alan Prost behind her, Lewis Hamilton in third place, Connor Ross in fourth place, and Daniel Ricciardo in last. Earlier today in the Formula One season, it was the league's first ever race here on this track, with Lewis Hamilton winning the race. But unfortunately, during that race, things weren't going so well for the other drivers, one being Max Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, and many others, all resulting in multiple red flags and restarts. But let's hope that won't happen in today's race. What an impressive performance by Alan Prost. He's really showing his true talent today here at New Jacko. As I said before, both Prost and Dash are driving Formula 1 cars from the 90s. Technology and aerodynamics were way different than today's technology, but so far they're putting a great show today. Wonderful driving. As the drivers go through their second lap, we have also Equestrian Motorsports champion Rarity, who's sitting next to us for a short interview. Thank you, Twilight and Life, for having me here today. New Jello is a beautiful place to race. So, Rarity, you did commentate earlier in the summer for your spa. How did it go for you behind the scenes? It was absolutely outstanding. Spa Brand Court Champs is truly a marvelous place to race. I even had a blast when I raced back in the foots of 2019 finals in lap round. Will you be doing more commentary in the upcoming summer fiestas? As of right now, I don't have an answer to that because I want to focus more on my fashion designing during this coming regular season. So I can prepare for the fashion show for that coming summer. Do you have any plans on racing this season? Oh, of course, darling. It's always nice to do some driving. It's also the best time to advertise my beauty to the fans. I've seen you teaching Sunset Shimmer how to drive a stick shift before. How did that go? Actually, I wasn't teaching her. She was having trouble on how to do the heel toe technique. That's all. She was doing the heel toe shifting technique in high heels. Quite a fashionable way to learn such thing in those kind of shoes. Well, I guess that's all we have for today. Appreciate your time, Rarity. See you after the race. She's one talented girl, isn't she, Twilight? Indeed she is. We're gonna see her racing this coming season. Anyways, back to our regular scheduled program. Alan Prost is still leading the race and Lewis Hamilton chasing down Rainbow Dash. Lewis Hamilton is still trying to get past the Princess of Formula One. It looks like Lewis Hamilton has won that fight as the Princess of Formula One goes off the track. Dropping her down to third place. Daniel Ricciardo is still trying to pass up Connor Ross as he struggles to keep up with the pack. Rainbow Dash is still doing a great job keeping pace with these modern V6 Formula One cars. Very impressive for something with a V12 engine. Alan Prost is still leading the pack, with Lewis Hamilton trailing behind. As the drivers approach the final lap, let's talk about Connor Ross. He has been in the racing scene before Equestria Motorsports joined in the race scene. His debut race was back in 2007 where he raced with UK winnings. It wasn't until 2010 and 2013 where he won two championships, all led by him and his race engineer, Buster. Speaking of Connor Ross, Rainbow Dash loses third place as Connor now takes her position. Leaving Daniel Ricciardo trailing Rainbow Dash. Wonderful driving to all of the drivers in today's race. The drivers now come out of turn 14 and here they come into the main street. Here we go race fans, white flag is out. Final lap. Alan Cross still maintaining first place. This is gonna be the most intense lap in this race. Everyone is desperate to go up in positions, hoping to see Rainbow Dash and Lewis Hamilton keeping up with Alan Prost. Outstanding driving by the Princess of Formula One. She now returns back to second place. It looks like there's no one stopping Alan Prost. It's only up to either Rainbow Dash maintaining her current position or Lewis Hamilton or Connor Ross taking her position. No one knows who will take the silver until this lap progresses. Ricardo is still struggling to keep up with the rest of the pack. It's gonna be an unfortunate race for him despite him taking first place in qualifying. It looked like Ricardo went up a position but spins out a turn 11. He went spin Nola. That's some Sebastian Vettel stuff right there, folks. Honestly, what is he doing? Racing or ping pong. Well, there's no stopping Ellen Cross now. Here they come into the last turn. Connor Ross is gonna activate his DRS. I don't think Rainbow Dash has a chance no more as he passes her on the straight, dropping her down to third place. Well, a race fans, the race is over, and Alan Cross wins today's here at Mugello. Well, race fans, that's the end of the race! Alan Cross takes home the win! With Connor Ross taking second and Rainbow Dash taking third. 
So Rise, who do you think fits your driver of the day title for today's race? I have to give it to two drivers. One for All Impressed and the other for Rainbow Dash. Both drivers were able to race against the modern Formula 1 cars in their 90s V12 powered ones. It's quite impressive what a simple setup, fine tuning and driver skills can pay off. Well race fans, it's sad to say goodbye but don't worry. We got one more Formula 1 action for you guys later this month. Our next stop will be the famous Nürburgring. Until then, we'll see you next time.